Hi friends, happy Thursday. Um, have you recovered from Christmas? Let me know. Are you blue? Are you sad that Christmas is over for another year? Is your Christmas put away? Do you still have it up? Let me know where you're watching from. Hi guys, I am so excited to see you all. Um, this is my final installment of our Ho 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 Home for the Holidays, essentially a holiday-licious edition. You're not sad at all. Oh, <laughs> hi on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is, you know, it is exhausting facilitating Christmas magic for our little ones. So, but it is such a fun time of year. Oh, yeah. It's, it can be stressful, but you got to find ways to streamline that. Yes. Oh, Christmas is coming down this weekend. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining. My name is Hilary LeMay, and I am an essential oil educator and leader with doTERRA International. And I am excited because I have not one, but two diffusers to share with you guys tonight from Pam at Green Air Wellness. Thank you so much for helping sponsor all these giveaways all month long and letting me be your Santa's elf and Santa's helper. So thank you to Pam, especially for that. Um, you can swipe to the right or swipe up to share this live broadcast and that gets you an extra entry into the giveaway. So I'm really excited. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Julie. Oh, thank you. Now I have a couple announcements tonight. Um, first, I wanted to say um, healing wishes, if you guys could pray or just send um, send love and light and thoughts to my dear friend, Dr. Laura Ritchie. She is recovering from hip surgery today in Texas, and she is such an amazing person. She's also another essential oil educator and uh, one of my oil boss babes, and um, we just love supporting each other regardless of whether we're on the same team or not. She's an amazing person, and oh, I'm so glad you're on here. It means so much that you are supporting us, and um, for all of you guys that don't know her, if you want to follow her on social media, she is at Dr. Laura Ritchie and she is such a wealth of information so you definitely want to follow her. She teaches lots of great essential oil classes and trainings and posts lots of amazing tips and tricks. So please just keep her in your thoughts as she heals and recovers from her hip surgery and we have big plans to go rock climbing together when she is all healed um, after after a couple of months and so. Um, but also another little announcement, happy birthday to my sweet friend Lindsay G. She is also another oil boss babe and um, I just wanna send her love and light and happy birthday and unicorn and glitter wishes from here to there. So yes, you guys, thank you so much. It means so much to me that, um, yeah, that you guys are joining me and just send all the good wishes and glittery unicorns that you can to everyone out there. Um, so yeah, but tonight, um, just like every Thursday, we kick chemicals to the curb because they've got to go and we have big plans for the new year. We are going to be our healthiest selves and we are going to work on ourselves from the inside out. And that means kicking those nasty chemicals out. We don't need them. Um, they're nasty. And the older I get, I don't know about you guys, but the older I get, I do not want to be anywhere but home on New Year's Eve between the drunk drivers and expensive overcharging um, for meals and drinks and all that stuff. I just love to be home. And plus, George is working this uh, year on New Year's Eve and Olivia will be sleeping uh, nice and soundly in her bed. So it is just a great opportunity for us to do some self-care if we are going to be home. And if you're hosting friends or a sleepover or a party for your kids, tonight we'll give you some great ideas on how to make some essentially infused goodies for a little uh, spa party. Oh no, girl, I love, I love being home. It is awesome. There is no place that I'd rather be knowing that my loved ones are safe and sound. And it is so much fun. Yeah, and it's fun to make your own drinks at home and do all your good things at home and have your party and have your friends over um, you know and so if you are still on holiday break even if you're not just make an excuse to have some self-care. So tonight we are doing a New Year's spa night in and grab your girlfriends, grab your boyfriend or your husband or your family members, have a date night in. You can keep these um, thoughts in your mind for like birthday parties or bachelorette parties or bridal showers. There's no excuse for self-care. So um, you don't need a reason. It's always time to take care of you and to do things without chemicals. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. You can also tap the screen at the bottom as many times as you want, uh, even if you're watching the replay. And that just gives me love and lets me know that you're enjoying what we're talking about and you're having fun. Um, so yeah, also uh, frankincense is free for another couple days all month long in December. So if you wanted to get started with your oil journey, it is an awesome month to do that. And um, so yeah, I wanted to also reveal the giveaways for tonight. So we have two diffusers. I'm really excited. Now, both of these diffusers are going to go to the same winner. So um, you want to go to my Instagram page at Hillary LeMay and comment on my last post this morning um, with your goal or what you're focused on for 2017 and tag friends so that they can enter. And you just want to be sure that your entries are all in by 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. And then between 10:30 and 11, I'll post on Instagram the winner and I'll tag you. So please, if you 
you do win, please, please send me your um, snail mail address as soon as possible so I can get it sent out to you tomorrow morning. Ideally, I'd like to get to the post office in the morning if you send me your address, so I want you to have it as soon as you can. So the first diffuser, this is the Scent Trekker. This is a USB diffuser. It covers 400 square feet, and you know what's really amazing about this? It goes in your cup holder in your car. So this is great for road trips, for travel. It has rotating color options, and it goes six hours continuous. And this is so amazing. Pam, thank you so much from Green Air for sharing this with us. This is so cool. And don't let this little small size fool you because this is amazing when you're traveling, when you're out and about. This is just amazing, especially because it goes with a USB. And the second one is, again, small but mighty. This is the Breezy. This goes 12 hours continuous. It covers 400 square feet. And this also has a USB, which is great for travel, for your office, for anything. So again, we've got the Scent Trekker. It's a little bright, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There he goes. The scent Trekker. This is such an awesome little guy. And this goes um, six hours and it's a USB. And then this goes 12 hours with a USB. So both of these are going to be great. You're going to have one for your car, one for your office. And you can take one of these in your suitcase with you. It's small. It's mighty. It's going to do the job and it's going to help clean the air around you. You're going to feel relaxed and calmed. And it's amazing. You can put this by your bedside at a hotel or if you have company over. It's just so cute. And I love this. Um, again, I love that this is a USB. So Pam from Green Air, thank you so much. You guys, these are amazing. I cannot wait to see who wins. Oh my goodness. Yes. So um, be sure, of course, not to forget to enter the contest. Now, um, again, you can swipe to the right or up on this live broadcast to share, and that just uh, offers you one more entry into the giveaway. And that giveaway winner will be announced on my Instagram page later tonight. So um, also, don't forget a little bonus Periscope on Saturday because it's my one-year scope anniversary on New Year's Eve. Last year on New Year's Eve was my very first Periscope, and so I've got to close that loop like I do because I love to slay my goals, and I am going to be um, hopping on with a viewer's choice Periscope that I've been asked about um, time and time again, and I'm really excited to deliver on that, so I am going to be sharing that on Saturday. I'm really excited. So for all of you that are going to be home for New Year's Eve, um, you know, you can watch later, you can watch whenever you want, but there will be an awesome giveaway as well. And you don't have to be watching live to enter the giveaway. You'll get an extra entry if you happen to be home and you happen to um, be able to share the live broadcast on Saturday night. It'll also be at the same time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, but if, you, if you're if you not watching live, that's okay. You'll still be able to enter through Instagram the same way um, you have all month long for these diffuser giveaways. It's not a diffuser. It's an awesome, awesome giveaway. I'm really, really excited about it. So anyway, let's get into what we're doing tonight. So tonight we're doing, in honor of Lindsay G's birthday, holler, we're doing Lindsay G's Lamazing Bath Bombs because, hi from Indiana, uh, because Lindsay G is an awesome bath bomb diva. She's tried all these different ones and they're great and I'm excited to share one of the recipes that she and I have been working on together for this. So we are going to do Lindsay G's Amazing Bath Bombs and then we are going to do a doTERRA dupe foot, so foot uh, soothing bath oil and then we're going to do a doTERRA dupe bentonite clay face mask. Um, my lighting seems to be going down. One moment. Okay. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to, and then we're going to do a festival of lights. Oh man, hold on one second, guys. We're having a little technical difficulty here with the lights. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do our festival of lights, Hanukkah room spray blend. Um, yeah. And so it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited for everything that we're going to do tonight. So the first thing is Lindsay G's, um, amazing lush bath bombs. And for this, what we're going to do is just start with our glass bowl and hold on one second. I'm going to just turn the light switch on because we are losing light here. Don't know why. Hopefully we won't be too bright. You never know what's gonna happen on Periscope, right? And we're a little washed out, but you know what? That's all good because we just do what we can, right? Technology sometimes is not on our side and it is all good in the hood. So for Lindsay G's Lush um, Dupe Bath Bombs, we are gonna start with our big glass bowl and then we're gonna add um, six tablespoons of Epsom salt. And this is just such a really fun recipe you can do with your kids. It's super safe and fun and it's just gonna be a great time. And then we're gonna add one cup of baking soda and then we are going to add one half cup of cornstarch. And then we're going to add one, um, let's see, one half cup of citric acid. 
And hopefully you guys have citric acid or don't have a problem getting it. A lot of folks have messaged me asking where to get citric acid, and the, my favorite place to get it is on Amazon. You can get a five pound bag for a super low price, and it is really great. Um, I just, I really love getting my things like that in bulk on Amazon because it's just a money saver, it's a time saver. You don't have to be driving around all over town. Yeah, exactly, Ashby. You don't have to be driving all over town to be looking for these ingredients, and it's just gonna waste your time. So um, let's see, then we're gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil. And this is solid coconut oil. Oh, bulk at Sprouts. We don't have Sprouts here, Carol, um, but I've heard great things about the store. Yes, absolutely. And you, um, if you do have a grocery store that sells it, it would be in the canning and jelly aisle, so you can always check there. Let's see one moment here. All right. And so then what we're going to do is just we are going to mix this in, and then we're going to add our essential oil. So I'm going to add, um, you need cornstarch. Yeah. And you can get cornstarch at any grocery store, so it's all good on that front. Now, we are going to use frankincense because frankincense is the free oil of the month this month. It is the king of oils. And for bath bombs, I love the calming um, the calming zen that I get from frankincense. It is just amazing with any oil. Um, and I got extra this month because I, I got uh, a couple... Uh, I did a couple of my orders, so I got extra, but you can use whatever combinations you like. <laughs> Definitely Frank and Celery. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're just going to add ten drops of our favorite oil. Now, again, this is frankincense, but you can use Balance. You can use um, Lavender. You can use Serenity, whatever you like. And then we are just going to mix this all together. And you want to make sure that the coconut oil gets mixed in really nice. I hope everyone is having an awesome night tonight. Yes, we are rolling with the lighting issues here on Periscope because it is never a dull moment. Ooh, peppermint at white fur would be so good for winter. Yes, that sounds like a really good one. Although for me, peppermint is really awakening and invigorating, so I don't use it when I want calming. But if you definitely were like stressed out and you wanted maybe like a little energy boost or something or you're feeling tired, um, peppermint would definitely be a great one. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of water now. Again, because everyone's climate is different. Um, everyone's climate is different. So if your home is a little more dry than someone else's, or if your home is a little more humid, your, uh, your ingredients are going to change a little bit, especially when you're adding moisture. So keep that in mind, and you just play around with it. And don't be afraid to make a mistake, because Lindsay G and I, we have been you know working on these different recipes. And there are so many recipes online for bath bombs. There's so many possibilities. And just try what works for you. You know, certainly um, this is what works for me. But I definitely encourage you to just try different things because you cannot you cannot go wrong because it's always a learning experience. And if they don't work the way that you want them to, you can still use them as like loose bath salts and you can just kind of toss them in your tub if they don't work the way you want. But we're going to use um, about four tablespoons of water, but I would encourage you to just start with a little bit. So you can start with like maybe one or two tablespoons and it's going to fizz up a little bit and it's just going to create the consistency of wet sand. And it's a little bright so you're not going to be able to see too much there, but it's the consistency of wet sand that you're looking for because you don't want it to be too wet, but you want it to be a little bit moist so that it sticks together when you pinch it in between your fingers like this. You want it to be like wet sand. And so we're going to add just a little bit more because I doubled this recipe. And there is a recipe in the doTERRA, um, on the doTERRA blog. Yeah, you definitely want to add the water slowly and you just want to take it one little step at a time so that you can really gauge the texture and you can gauge the consistency and make sure that the consistency is right. All right, so I think we're there. And so you'll know when you're there because when you pinch it, it kind of holds together a little bit. So you'll know that you're there when it's like wet sand. And we've all had our toes in the sand, right? So we know exactly how amazing that feels. <laughs> scoot back a little all right so once you've got your oils in there you've got all your ingredients in there and again if you missed anything um, you can totally watch the replay it'll be up forever and then it'll be up for um, forever also on YouTube at Hillary LeMay you can go uh, check it out on there so then what we're gonna do is we are gonna take and actually um, now I like to jazz mine up a little bit with some dried flowers and herbs so these are rose hips that I got from my local um, my local health food store but you can get these online um, this is hibiscus and yeah, I, I don't like using water in a spray bottle because I find that it doesn't give me the right texture. It's, I need too much water. So um, this is calendula. 
and these are lavender flowers. So go ahead and do whatever you like. These are just really beautiful and fun and they add a really nice texture to the bath bombs and you can just sprinkle your dried flowers and herbs in there however much you like. I'm not exact about it. I'm a jazz singer when it comes to kitchen stuff like this. Um, I like to cook by feel, you know, and, and kind of do crafts as I feel. Um, and then we're going to add some rose hips. So these are really fun and I just love, I love the way they look. I love the way they smell. Um, you can do any combination you want. You can do jasmine and rose. Yeah, it's really fun. And so then we're just going to make sure this is all combined. And you can um, put the dried flowers and herbs and things in the base of your mold. But I have found that they work better when you do it inside because it just looks really beautiful. So what we're going to do is take these round molds. And I got these from Bulk Apothecary. And they were only a couple bucks. I think they were like five bucks for a set of ten. I mean, this is pretty awesome. That's a lot. And... They just clip together so one has got like the little ridge up top and then one is flat and they just they just hold together right like that. Now if you don't have these, don't run out and get all these fancy things. You can use your silicone molds that you use for your bath bombs, so um, that you use for your dishwasher pods. So definitely don't feel like you need to go out and buy all these fancy things. But I just really love the way these look and I've done... I've done uh, bath bombs in the past. Olivia and I did them earlier in the year. I believe it was January that we did bath bombs in the silicone mold. And they're super easy, great for the kids because they're not fussy. You just press them in the mold just like you do the dishwasher pods. But for this, we're going to go Black Diamond difficulty because it's Lindsay G's birthday and it's unicorns and rainbows and we are doing it. So for this, now what um, what Lindsay shared with me that it's, an, a, it's just a great life hack for when you're making these is you want to sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch into the round mold and you can just sprinkle a little bit in there and then what you can do is kind of put it together just clip it a little bit and then kind of shake it up to get the cornstarch all over and it's going to help loosen the bath bomb when you're ready to take it out and you can just take the excess and put it back in the little bowl that you have on the side but you just want to make sure that you have cornstarch coating the outside of the bath bomb yeah, cornstarch is the way to do this, y'all. Okay, so then what we're gonna do, and now if I can be fancy for a moment, I'm gonna try my hand at multitasking, which is pretty, It's multitasking is not always a good idea, but um, I'm gonna try, make sure that it, since it's a little bright, I want to make sure you guys can see this. Darn, my lighting is giving me a problem today. So what you're gonna do is just fill up one half and fill up then the other half right after that. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to clip them together and let them harden. And it's okay if it's overfilled because you're going to press it and it's going to kind of pack down. You see here? So you can kind of like pack it down. You're just going to pack it, pack it, pack it down. Really nice and tight there. And it doesn't need to clip all the way down unless you want it to. You can just like set it on your counter like that. See how gorgeous this is? It's just like a little globe. And then you can loosen it out when you're ready, or what you can do is let it sit overnight um, and see how pretty that is. It's gorgeous, right? Ta-da! Bath bomb, how gorgeous is this? And then when you're ready, you can put it in a beautiful cupcake liner. It is so bright, okay. You can just put this in a beautiful cupcake liner and let it harden overnight. And when you are done, they look gorgeous and like little fancy desserts. See? Okay, it is so bright, you guys. I don't know what is going on tonight. I had to switch back to my iPhone because my Droid was lagging. The Periscope app is not meant for um, Android. It is not supported very well, and so I'm using an iPhone tonight. It is just giving me all kinds of issues with the light. It is way too bright. Hopefully, you guys can see this. So when they're done, they look like these beautiful, beautiful fancy desserts but they're for the bath and I put like some rose hips and hibiscus in there on that and you just use these fancy cupcake liners that I mean it looks fancy but they're just cupcake liners it's not fancy at all here you go see and you could package these up in beautiful little um, like plastic sleeves that they have in the candy department at Michael's and it's just so much fun and these are such a blast and you just drop them into the tub when you're done um, just like those lush bath bombs that are expensive and they have tons of chemicals in there and they use synthetic fragrance and a lot of times they'll say oh it has essential oils or it has natural smells and you know natural ingredients but it's not natural you and I know that those in those ingredients and the essential oils they're using are filled with fragrance synthetic chemicals chemicals, dyes, all the color and food coloring that they're using, they're pink for a reason because they've got dye in them. That is not natural 
die. And so uh, I just really encourage you guys to try these. They're so beautiful and fun. And again, you can just make them however you like. Now I'm going to show you one more. And um, again, this is just so, so much fun. You just take your mold. These are just the little sphere molds from um, Bulk Apothecary. You can get them for super cheap. I think, um, Lindsay, I don't know if you know, but I think they were like five bucks for a set of 10, a pack of 10 of these. And um, it was just a really good value. So you just take them and you just fill with your mix. And again, if, if you have any left over, you know, if it doesn't set or if you don't have any left over, um, you know, if you don't have enough to make a full one left over, you can just use it as loose bath salts or you can make a, um, you can make them in the silicone mold if you have any little ones left over. So you just fill each of the halves of your spherical molds with the mixture. And it's okay if it's overfilled because you're going to just kind of let the, the extra fall down. And you just kind of like, you can work your finger into that ridge and help get it all nice and and tightly packed and again like I said you can take it out right away and, and set it um, they're pretty fragile if you do that or you can just um, click them together like this and let them sit on your counter overnight for like maybe four to eight hours or you can just um, you know let them maybe sit overnight if you have the patience for it so these are beautiful they're really big that's why I doubled the recipe so the recipe that I'm gonna share on Instagram later tonight is um, doubling the recipe because these are really large and they only made two when I did the original recipe so I want to make sure that you have plenty to work with so this is just so much fun you can give this as a gift you can use any colors that you want these are really beautiful and I love them and they smell amazing. They smell like frankincense deliciousness. So those are amazing, amazing. And Lindsay, thank you so much for sharing that recipe with me. I'm just gonna clean up my hands real quick and clean up my workspace. Yeah, bulkapothecary.com. They're really affordable and they're they're great. Um, you can find metal ones, but Lindsay was telling me that the, the reason she liked them is because it had um, the little tab here and you can just kinda lift them out that way and again with the um with the cornstarch it helps but you don't have to use the cornstarch it's totally up to you you can do it with the cornstarch or without and you'll see this has a little lip here and then this is flat so it wedges itself in there and it makes them really nice and secure so the next recipe we're going to do is our doTERRA dupe foot soak bath oil now the reason i call it a dupe it's because we're duplicating the product that is going to be gone soon. So this is the doTERRA spa um, bath oil and it's amazing and I love it, but it's going to be gone because it's not a product that's going to be around um, all the time. And so what we want to do is make sure that we can still recreate these items when they're gone and when we need them, when we want to enjoy these items long after the holiday catalog is gone, we're going to make our own. And also it's showing you that if you don't have this, you don't have to miss out on all the awesome um, benefits of this product. You can just make your own if you run out, if it's not available there's always another way for you to enjoy it so it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy um, this amazing product so we're gonna just take a glass bottle this is a four ounce bottle and I just use my little chalkboard label with a white paint pen and that way when it gets wet in the tub it's not going to um, it's not gonna come off your little label and so you're just gonna do I mean you guys this is like so so super simple you're just going to fill this with your favorite carrier oil and my favorite carrier oil is macadamia oil um, for this recipe this is just pure macadamia oil and then you're gonna infuse it with your favorite essential oils that's it two ingredients carrier oil and essential oil so so easy and um, this is also for Stephanie C because she is on my team and she is one of my sweet oilers and Douglas fir and grapefruit are her two favorite combos and I just love this combo together so Stephanie this one's for you so what we're gonna do is just literally fill up our entire container with the carrier oil and to make this go a little faster I'm just gonna take off the top here and we're just gonna fill this guy up all the way with our carrier And you can use whatever container you have. This is just a four ounce bottle because I'm showing you how to duplicate this recipe on your own for your spa night in. And what you can do is um, set up a foot soak. You know, if you um, are having friends over, you can get some little foot baths. You know, you can just make one from like a um, anything you might have around the house, a bucket or a nice big mixing bowl, something metal or glass. You can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond or ask friends to bring something with them. Uh, when they come to your home and you can put in one of the bath bombs you can just drop in one of the bath bombs in your bath water and it's just gonna fizz up and get really nice just like a spa when you go get a pedicure you know you you soak your feet and they put in a little whatever it is um, fizzy something you know this is your fizzy something and you can do that at home with friends for your kids birthday party you've got if you've got little ones that would love a spa day in um, it would be so much fun for them to do this so then we're gonna add our essential oils and for this we're just gonna add 10 drops each of great fruit and Douglas fir. So this is my grapefruit. 
yes, definitely for foot baths, especially after a long day of work, it is going to be amazing. You're just going to put 10 drops each of our grapefruit. And grapefruit is just bright and fresh and Douglas fir is amazing and these two oils together are just magic to me I love Douglas fir and I love grapefruit um, if you've been following me for a while you use my recipes you know that Douglas fir grapefruit and on guard is what I use for my all-purpose cleaner because I just love the smell and then we're gonna do 10 drops of Douglas fir and then all you're gonna do is just put the lid on to this and give it a little shake and see we've just made a duplicate of doTERRA's uh, blooming bath oil. We've made our own for really not much. I mean, carrier oil is pretty pretty inexpensive. And um, now you've got your own. You can give this as a gift. You can share it with friends. And when you're at your spa party, all you just need is really like a cap full, and you just um, pour some into the bath water, and it's going to go really beautifully with your frankincense bath bombs, and it's going to just be so so great. And so then for our next recipe, we're doing our DoTerra dupe clay face mask, and this is obviously a duplicate on the doTERRA detoxifying mud mask that everyone loves. And I don't know, uh, maybe someone that's ordered it recently can let me know, but I believe that this is out of stock temporarily. So it might be even more amazing to be able to have this recipe on hand if you've used yours up. Mine is about halfway gone. I love this. It is so great. But for those of you that either don't have it um, or you are running out, you can, yeah, okay. So thank you, Patty. So it is not available right now. It is back order because it's so good and it's so popular, but we are going to make our own. So for this recipe, this is just super, super duper simple. Again, we're just going to take a small glass jar and this is an amber, uh, amber jar. And I like to do this in a large batch, but I'm just going to show you how to make enough for one or two friends. Um, but you can of course scale it to your, to your liking. And so for this, the oils we're going to use are myrrh, juniper berry, and grapefruit. So we're going to grab our grapefruit that we just used from our previous recipe. And we've got our myrrh handy and juniper berry and these oils are going to be amazingly cleansing to the skin and it's going to just pull out any of those dirt and grimy clogged pores and your skin is just going to feel warm and invigorated and amazing and hydrated yeah it's going to be great so for this recipe again we're just going to start with our small glass jar and then we're going to add three tablespoons of bentonite clay it is a little bright, but there you can see the bentonite clay. And bentonite clay powder is something I've been using for a very long time. You can actually add it in with your charcoal brushing if you do that. You can just add a little pinch. You can get this at the vitamin shop on Amazon. I love this stuff. It is really great for the skin. Um, and whenever you're using bentonite clay, you just want to make sure that you don't use a metal spoon. You can use plastic or a wooden spoon. So, um, yes. Good, good, good. Yeah, so you're going to add three tablespoons of your bentonite clay to your jar and we're just going to mix it all in the same jar that we are um, going to store it in because we don't want to mess up another you know another uh, another bowl it's just not necessary so you're going to just spoon your bentonite clay powder into your container and again you don't want to use metal for this because bentonite clay has a charge so you don't want to um, you don't want to drain the energy that you're getting from the bentonite clay using a metal uh, a metal utensil so you always want to use wood or plastic when you're using bentonite clay. And then we are going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This is just two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to the clay powder. And we're gonna add a pinch of water, just a little splash of water. And you can add more if you like and it'll bubble up a little and fizz, you see there. It's all getting activated. And then we're gonna add two, uh, we're gonna add one drop of each of our essential oils. You don't need a lot because this is a very small amount. So we're just gonna add one drop of juniper berry my juniper berry wants to come out he's a little slow today one drop of juniper berry and juniper berry just smells so good it's the oil of the night it's great for night terrors and things and then we're gonna add one drop of myrrh and myrrh is a very thick sappy oil the viscosity is pretty thick um, and it's like resin so don't be surprised if you get some crystallization around the neck of your bottle we're just gonna add one drop of myrrh and myrrh kind of smells like leather to me I really love it um, no I don't use fractionated coconut oil in this recipe and then one drop of grapefruit. So um, you would use fractionated coconut oil in like a moisturizer. So what you would be doing, this is like detoxifying. So you're actually cleansing everything out. And then when you do, this would be like your cleanse step. And then when you, um, if you need to later, then you could do your, um, you would do your, you know, serums and your moisturizers and all this, but this is not the step for, um, 
This is not when you'd want to moisturize. This is actually like detoxifying and cleansing and pulling out all those toxins. And the clay and the oils and the apple cider vinegar are just going to be super soothing. And so you can see here it's like a paste. Yeah. Um, you, can, uh, you can use activated charcoal. You certainly can. Um, I just like to use the kind of same uh, recipe to make a duplicate of the detoxifying clay mask, but you can absolutely use um, charcoal. If you're going to use charcoal, I would probably just use like a half a capsule. You don't need a full one. How long can it be stored? Um, this is just enough for about one or two uses, so I would maybe store it for like a couple weeks. You could maybe make like four, four, um, four, for recipes, you know, just like kind of quadruple it and then you can have enough for a month and you can maybe just make it um, each time that you're ready. But this is going to be a nice paste and you can just take an old makeup brush or your hands and you can just take this and you're going to put it on your skin and it's going to be really beautiful. See if you can see that. You're just going to, you know, kind of go like that along your skin and it's going to be really amazing and what you'll do is you'll let that sit on your skin for five to 15 minutes depending on the sensitivity of your skin and when you you just take a warm washcloth or you can do it in the shower and rinse it off to to cleanse your skin afterward and um, your skin you should expect to see a little bit of redness in your skin because it's bringing out all the it's it's helping with your circulation and improving all your circulation and really doing a great job of cleansing your skin so your skin will be a little bit pink um, and a little warm to the touch afterward because all of the properties of the ingredients that we're using. Your skin's going to feel amazing. So um, <clears throat> definitely rinse it with warm water and it comes off super simply. Um, it's just going to be, you know, just use a, a cloth in the shower or if you're taking a bath or something, just use whatever washcloth you have. And then afterward, you um, will want to follow up after your skin has dried a little bit. You can follow up with your pH balancing with a pore cleanser, um, your, you know, your toner, and then you'll follow up with your same beauty regimen that you normally do. Yeah, you can use it on your feet. Absolutely. You can make a mud mask and do it on your legs and on your feet and on your hands and arms, absolutely. But you just wanna make sure that you don't leave it on for more than 15 minutes. So I would set a timer or something, but do anywhere between five and 15 minutes. So there we have that. And then our final recipe for tonight is our Festival of Lights room spray. It is our final room spray in our holiday room sprays edition. And this one is super fun. And as always, we are just gonna take our small little sprayers. Now I love these because again, I like to just do these sprays in a small batch because you're not using them for too terribly long. You're only using them for a few weeks during the holidays. So um, it also lets you kind of check out the combination of oils and make sure that it's a combo that you like. But this is our Festival of Lights in honor of Hanukkah week because we do celebrate Hanukkah as well as Christmas. So we'll be at my parents' house tomorrow night celebrating Hanukkah with them. And this is our Festival of Lights. So in this bottle, we are going to take two drops of lemon and it's going to smell amazing two drops of lemon oh thank you yes the craft store is the jam for all the holiday stickers and then we're going to grab two drops of wild orange two drops of wild orange and then we're going to add one drop of douglas fir and one drop of cinnamon bark, cinnamon bark. And it's gonna be spicy and bright and light and fresh and delicious. And then we are gonna just top off with water and that is all. I look like an alien because my face is glowing. <laughs> we are just gonna top this with water. And that is all. And then when you mix this, together, you just give it a little shimmy shake and then you just spray around your house, spray wherever, spray your pine cones if you still have them up, spray your artificial tree if you still have it up. You can spray whatever you like and it smells fresh and it smells amazing and your house is gonna smell great and there are no chemicals in there because when you're using a lot of these nasty synthetic fillers, um, it's gonna give you a headache. A lot of people will probably say, oh, you know, perfumes or this or that gives me a headache and it makes me feel sick or whatever. It's because of that synthetic fragrance. That's not good for you. That is not good. It's not healthy. You don't have to use blue. You can use amber. The only difference, um, the only reason you wanna use like darker glass like cobalt or amber is to prevent you UV exposure from breaking down and altering the therapeutic properties of the oils if there's UV exposure. So if you keep oils on the windowsill, for example, that's a big no-no. You don't want to do that. That's why you want to either get a wooden box that doTERRA sells or you can get them on Amazon. 
um, or you and you want to keep your oils away from UV sunlight. You don't want to have your oils anywhere near the sun because they're going to break down. They're just not going to last. And um, you know you're you're spending your good hard-earned money on your oils. You and they're the most pure available. You definitely don't want to ruin the you know and jeopardize the integrity of those oils. So. Um, tag me if you try any of these. I'm really excited to see what you think about them. And don't forget to enter the giveaway for the diffusers. I'm so excited for someone to win. The winner will be announced tonight. You guys, these are so awesome. Like, I'm so jealous because these are amazing. The Breezy, 12 hours continuously, covers 400 square feet. Um, this is a uh, USB. Both of these are USB charged. So, you know, for your travel, for your office, amazingness. I mean, 12 hours right here, that is a great, great value. And then also this one is the Scent Tracker. And this is 400 square feet as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, it fits in your cup holder in your car. It's great. It has rotating color options and it goes for six hours. So you've got six hours and 12 hours. You guys are going to be set for life with your 12 hours in your home or your office and your six hours in the car for your next road trip. You're going to have a great time and everyone's going to be calm and relaxed and breezy. So um, also don't forget, as I mentioned, Saturday night, I am going to be doing my bonus scope. It is a viewer's choice um, and I'm going to have an amazing giveaway. It's my one year scope anniversary on, on, uh, on Saturday night. So I know it's New Year's Eve and if you're out and about, don't worry about it. You can watch the replay later. Um, but you'll be able to enter to the into the giveaway all day long. I'll post it in the morning and you can comment and everything. It'll be great. So um, lastly, you know, if you don't have any essential oils and you want to get started, I would love to be that mentor for you. It is really important that when you start with your essential life journey and your, you know, your pilgrimage with making these changes in your life, that you have someone to support you with education, with resources, with tools, with support. And I've got all that and then some for you. So I'm really excited for all the folks that have just gotten started with me over the last few months because the Essential Life books, the new third edition is coming out and I actually pre-ordered a bunch of them last week. As soon as they were able to, as soon as we were able to pre-order them, I did so. And I am really excited. The third edition is compliant. It's got all the new oils in there. I'm super excited to get my hands on it and see what new recipes are in there that we can concoct and do here on Periscope. So thank you guys so much for all your support over the last year. It's been really fun and I can't wait to keep doing this for you. And we'll definitely get the lighting situation under control because this iPhone is a little bit finicky, but you know what? We didn't have any cutouts and it wasn't any lagging. So it's all good. And hopefully Periscope will do some updates and the technology will be on our side when we come back on Saturday night. So I hope you guys have an amazing new year. If I, if you're not here on Periscope on Saturday night, have an amazing happy new year and may all your dreams come true in 2017. I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye.